we have new pictures on 3i atlas just released just released pre-perihelion pictures these pictures were just released these are the latest ones pre-perihelion the latest was in the 28th of september then we have this is from stereo a these are solar instruments from nasa so these are nasa pictures stereo a slash core 2 september 28th to october 2 it's the last one we have and it's freaking weird you see here no tail no tail by the way did you know that right now we have Hira from europe and it just started europa clipper from nasa as well to try to grab the tail that doesn't exist of 3i atlas searching for the invisible tail to tell it's a comet but juno according to wavy loeb he said that uh, from juno they said and look that it's it's important they said they that they will try to use the radar from juno to gra grab information that will be important because they get very good pictures from asteroids detailed with uh, that radio emissions or whatever they call but that will be later so i'm prepared for more complaints about these pictures because the other ones i showed and i compared with mine that were not pictures mine were real captures these aren't real captures they somehow process it so we have this one the last one we have this one here again no tail we can see the brightness of it it's still more or less what we know already from the ghost 19 from the 18 to the 24th of october 26 of october and this one from 26 as well you can see them here but um, at this stage in the 28 it was already closer to the perihelion the closest approach to the sun and what uh, was discovered and they made a paper about this with these uh, pictures what they discovered was that it got bluer than the sun so somehow it got bluer look i read the paper i will summarize it in a very basic way for you because i read the paper the paper basically well i can show you the graphic here it's an important paper so it's about the brightness this is one of the anomalies that uh, three atlas always had since the beginning was too bright for a comet so that's an anomaly no comet has this brightness a comet in this moment yesterday will will be exploding in with a large tail or breaking in pieces a real comet rapid brightening of 3i atlas ahead of perihelion the link you have on avloeb blog if you want to dig into it so they study the brightness they have the picture and you can see here the brightness of it basically we had a huge increase from then to now you can see a graphic showing that it rose a lot here it was supposed to have this behavior that you see this line here but instead it was rising 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 now they never gave an explanation you can read it all they always use the word likely so as they don't know they do what we do here might be it is likely an alien spaceship they are saying based on this data it is likely because of this gas because of that because of that but they always use the word likely so they are doing they are a paper a scientific paper they are scientists and they are doing exactly what we do here to give an hypothesis based on 15 anomalies that we have you don't need to be a scientist to apply the scientific uh, method you give an hypothesis and you can have your opinion as well your own opinion based on speculation that's legit now based on the data they got they can't explain in this paper 
for sure what caused that extreme increase in brightness in the closest approach to the sun. So that's a fact and you can read and you will see likely they are not sure about it because they can't have that information. Pure information. They perform image stacking and photometry which is doing measures based on photograph. They didn't find any tail and they found that rapid increase of brightness. They also found out that three atlas appears distinctly bluer than the sun in contrast to earlier observations showing the comet's dust to be red. Remember that we, we saw that actually, we saw that reddish tint in my live views with my telescope. Clearly, we saw it. Look, it's super bright and, and reddish. But now it seems like it turned more towards the blue. This is a fact. In contrast to earlier observations showing the comets thus to be red. And now they use again, not a likely but a similar word. Suggesting. Suggesting is not a fact. It's a suggestion. Suggesting, it's what they think it's likely. Suggesting that gas emission likely, here's a word again, likely from C2 and possibly NH2 contributes a sizable fraction of the overall visible brightness. What I want you to assimilate here, the ones that didn't yet, is that the fact that this is a scientific paper, and this happens so often, the fact that it is a scientific paper, it doesn't mean it has the 100% the truth. Because they use the term likely, they suggest things. You could do this whole test, this whole uh, study, and suggest, it suggests that might be made by design, and they will reject the paper. You see how the stigma is generalized here? That's why A.V. Loeb had so many times trouble having papers being admitted as they had something that is suggest, it's the same here, suggested that something was made by design, like Oumuamua, like Three Eye Atlas, which is even stronger. I want you to grab that perspective, it's more important. Because it will help you to all the papers to filter and distinguish what they really meant to with them. And why and understand why you don't see scientific paper. Oh, there's no scientific paper about that because they are rejected. Ah, there's no life. We don't know. We think they, it's a rock because but we don't search for that life. We are searching for microbes. Once again, if you go to my channel the Dobsonian power that you are watching. In the live views, you just scroll down and see one that says live like this. Live views of Welcome Three Atlas. To the and you come here and you will see Three Eye Atlas live. You see how orangish it was back that time? Now it seems it's bluer. But this is Three Eye Atlas live. And we will watch it again and it will be brighter. Because it survived, what comets don't do, it survived to the perihelion. It has no tail. It's not my fault, it's three, I'm just a messenger. It has no tail and it survived. As an alien spaceship will do. Spaceship that can be different than Galactica spaceships. Or Star Wars spaceships. It can be a totally different thing. It can be hybrid of organic, natural, and by design, the by design part can be totally different than what we know. At least we know that it has something that is industrial, nickel, without almost no iron. That's industrial. We'll keep following.